here your favorite Hawaiian guy welcome to my next live stream for Kenshi so right now we have Selena and Beto GP and Captain IGC watching welcome to my live stream guys so I'm gonna be continuing directly from where I left off right here as soon as it loads up <laughs> I have so much stuff in this game, it's starting to slow down now. <laughs> Weird. How are you guys doing? He's busy right now. I mean, I sent him a message saying that I was doing a live stream earlier. He 
might be popping up soon. Not right now.
Okay, so those guys are recovering from their injuries and not sure what the rest of them are doing. Not really much for them to do. I mean, we didn't set up like a farm, any farming or anything like that. Let me prospect this land to see how fertile it is. <coughs> well, we need building materials. That's what we need. Okay, so those guys are on their way back to the northern beach. Gosh, that sounds crazy for it to be that hot there, beat OGP. Uh, 
Huh, this reminds me of Florida, but with mountains. <laughs> Beautiful, though. It's cold where you live, Tristan. So it looks like they made it to the flood lens. Let me speed this up some. I sound like the sim version of me. <laughs> well, it makes sense, really. I mean, I do do the voice of the sims version of me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Okay, so they're all on their way to Blister Hill because they need to purchase, like, a lot of, uh, farming stuff there. If they can make it out there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was my most watched video on YouTube.
Okay, so we're almost there. Well, actually, we are there. Okay, so now I just need to see where we can get a backpack from. Could probably get one from there, but... Oh yeah, from here. Hi, Lainey. Um, he's actually busy right now. I mean, I told him I was doing a live stream. I didn't want to call him because I didn't want to disturb him, but yeah. Oh, bye, Tristan. Damn it, they don't have any... They don't have any good backpacks at all. Perhaps they sell them at the bars. I mean, the... What was I trying to get? I was trying to get green fruit now. Oh yeah, they have lots of green fruit. So let me 
me pull up my squad uh, listing. So I'm going to move all these guys to squad four. Alfred. Soman. And Neil. Farm Trader is at the Shrieking Forest Outpost. Let's see what they have available. Are they there right now? Gonna see if I can get this guy to join us.
it's really just that because I don't really like voice chatting with people under 18 because it's a bit awkward. That's the only reason why, to be completely honest. I mean, no offense or anything. Just saying, really. I probably should have said that earlier, but yeah. Now, where the hell is the... Shit, more of them are coming? What the hell? Yeah, I should have closed the fence, but it's alright, we'll take them all out. Why is he running? Damn shrieking bandits. We got it. Let's check if any of them are still alive. Oh, this one is. So let's open up a storage bin. I mean, build a storage bin. Iron. Right. Where the fuck is the storage chest? Oh, general storage chest. Okay. Oops. Not those.
let me see if any more of those guys are still alive. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> Only two of them survived, jeez. So we have like two people who, oh wait, never mind. Let's check on the squad mates here. I mean, like, did they make it to, where are they right now? Okay, so the merchant traders are on their way. they have electrical components.
<laughs> what the heck, Beto GP? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the traitors. Gonna put this on pause. They always run away whenever, like, I get near them. It's annoying. And they never really have enough room to carry much stuff either. They don't have any electrical components? What the hell? I mean, we needed those. They had tons of building material, so that counts as something, but still. Is that guy still alive? Oh no, he's crippled. Let me have Marvel attack him anyway. All right, now he's not alive. Neither is that guy, really. Okay, so they're... So they're guarding the camp right now. We haven't even got them to the desert yet. Damn. Well, they will be up there eventually. Not even sure if I am going to be sending them back to the desert now that I think of it. I need to make sure to close that gate. Alright, so we need to build a light in here because it's too dark. So...
lights, ceiling lamp, what the hell it is inside a building? Wait a second, I thought one of them had like iron plates. Oh, that's Coleman who has the iron plates. Why is he walking? All right, now he's going fast. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that light. So stew pickles is fine. Need to get him some clothes though. How's Gunther doing? Damn, there's a whole team of shrieking bandits just ran by. try to attack it all though, that's the thing, but whatever. Hope they don't try to tear down the walls, that gets really annoying when they do that. Let's have Cleo prospect the area. So prospect, so stone, Oh, they have quite a bit of stone. So, can you just right click and... I don't know how you mine for stone in this game. I'll figure that out later. Looks like they're still... where the hell have they... oh wow, they made it pretty far, jeesh. That's awesome. Alright, they're almost at the outpost. Well, the northern outpost, I should say. Alright, defense... 
walls, defensive walls. All right, we just need a wall around, um, basically just around the where we keep our food, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, like, the animals here eat the food. Well, they do. They're herbivores, but, yeah. Okay, so I got that. Now, a gate... Wait a sec, let me undo, add one gate. All right, so let me build more walls. They don't need to be like the really fancy kind of walls. The makeshift walls will be fine enough. I mean, cause we're not trying to keep people out. We're trying to keep animals out. Oh shit, <laughs> did not mean to do that. Alright, let me try it again. Alright, so defensive wall. <laughs> I actually like building the walls, I think they're cool. So a makeshift wall. Blue arrows point towards the enemies that we're trying to keep out. I probably should have prospected this land first. Alright, it's plus and minus to change the height. Change slope. And now another defensive wall. Just be the makeshift walls, that'd be fine enough. That should be big enough for us to... Okay, so... cotton farm which is going to cost us 40 cotton all right now do any of them have building materials or let me just select all members of the squad and have them build. Only Johnny 2x4 has building materials. <laughs> oh yeah, they finally arrived, awesome. They need to get a lot more building materials though, but yeah. Well, they'll be able to pick up more.
I know that there's a way where you could make like your own building materials. Gotta figure that out though. Even sure if we need a wall really to keep the animals out <laughs> well, technically, I kind of already do have that, in a way. Okay, so they definitely need more building materials. I think I have a way of getting them more. Could send like some of the members from my other squad up here to help them. Alfred seems to have a lot. <laughs> So, we're almost done building this. Wow, looks like we had enough. I guess, I don't know. Don't want to jinx it. Alright, we don't really have enough to build the gate, but, um... Let me check on the second uh, squad. Roberto and Russo. Russo's not really doing anything. Let's send him out there. Neither is Max, so I'll send him out there too. We're gonna pick up some more building material. So I'll have Max follow Russo. What's Jenkins doing? Jenkins isn't doing anything either. So let's have Jenkins follow Russo too. Mm, Alberto isn't doing anything either. It's about time I make these guys useful. Where the hell is Alberto? Oh, okay, he's right there. So first I need to send these guys to World's End. 
Hopefully they can make it there on their own. If the AI is smart enough to guide them to follow the roads. <laughs> it's funny, they're supposed to be setting up their base in the desert, but right now we're focusing more on the base on the coast. Don't worry, I'll be getting to the desert soon. <laughs> Definitely. It's going to be difficult for us to survive out in the desert, but I'll be able to figure that out. Does it cost money to build in Kenshi? Well, um, yeah, but, like, not like it does in The Sims. Like, in The Sims, they charge you right away when you build a wall. In Kenshi, you just need the building materials. There is a way to generate your own building materials, but I'm trying to figure that out. I need to figure out how to mod for stone in Kenshi. How to mod for stone in Kenshi. Oh, a stone mine. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't know about that. So we build a stone mine, that's how we mine for stone. And let me see what level of construction that is. So stone mine, Kenshi. Tech level five, four ancient science books, and one AL core. Damn it, we have to find like so many damn ancient science books everywhere. <laughs> Eventually, I might have to send them to the Deadlands or something. I don't know if it's called the Deadlands or... Wait, what is it called? Alright, that's Iron Valley. Yeah, they are called the Deadlands. I mean, I can't have any humans go there, and everyone on my squad is human. Kinda. Well, can't have any organics go there. That's, like, something that, like, breathes and has a pulse and everything. But if I had, like, skeleton people on my team, I could send them there. Eventually, I'm going to have to get skeleton people. Or robots. Even though I prefer to have just humans on my team, but whatever. Okay, so they're all almost at world's end. Actually, they should be at World's End by now. Let me see where Russo is. Alright, he's there. Now, let me see. Basically, we just need a whole bunch of building material. Maybe some, what do you, whatever you call it, if we can find it, green fruit and cotton. They don't sell that up here, unfortunately. But I need to get all the guys new backpacks so they can carry more stuff. Okay, show me what you got. Oh wow, they do have, um, they have a large backpack for sale. I'm gonna get, gonna have Max carry that. And gonna have him sell his splint kit and his standard first aid kit for an advanced first aid kit, an advanced splint kit. What's this? A Garu pack. Damn it, they don't have any more? What about Jenkins? He has a small backpack. And what?
what about Alberto? Alberto doesn't have a backpack at all, but they're all sold out. How much room does this one give, though? Let me get it. Oh wait, do they sell electrical components? Skeleton repair kit. Well, that doesn't do us any good. Alright, it doesn't give us that much space, but whatever. Let's check all the bars. We might be able to find some green fruit there. Well, actually, first we needed building materials. That's what we needed to get. I mean, he might actually have enough, but we don't need a, that many, but we do need quite a few. Because they're also going to need to build a well, too. Not sure how often they rest restock their store, but I'll find out eventually. I know in the desert, that one store had like a whole lots lots of stuff, just not lots of stuff for sell sale. Okay, so. See how much stuff Jenkins is carrying. Does he have enough to... Two of those would be fine. Electrical components. They only had two for sale, damn it. And cotton. You can definitely use that. Is Levitt with us? Okay, it's... I'll see which one's... All right, Alberto. Oh, awesome. He can stack all those. That is really awesome. I didn't know that you could do that. All right, we have a bunch of cotton. So, let's see. One who I sent up here was Russo. Russo, Alberto, Max, and Jenkins. Gotta remember all those names, because those are the guys who are all traveling with each other. And hopefully we can find someone, I'm not sure if we can find anyone to recruit here. Otherwise, I could carry them. Oh, wait, what about this guy? Military captain? Okay. <laughs> he said looking for some muscle. <laughs> Gosh, that could be interpreted wrong. Alright, let's see if they sell any green fruit. Okay, show me your goods. That could be interpreted wrong also. Um, alright, nothing really here that we can use, so... Yeah, I mean, we did our best, I guess. But we seem to have enough stuff, so let me send them... First, let me send them to the northern... back to the beach settlement. That's pretty awesome how you can stack so many building materials in the wooden bags. I, I never knew about that. Well, I don't want to send them to the Northern Beach Settlement, actually. I want to send them... Send them here. Hopefully they're smart enough to run there. 
Eventually, I'm going to send them to the Lotharian coast, because that's where they need to drop off all the stuff at. Let me check if the gurus eat the green fruit. Let me see what to feed the gurus. I think I actually did once make a two hour long um, Sims 2 scary movie. Carolina Maniacs, that was my longest one. My next one I was planning on making was on Ryo. Oh, it's already midnight. I forgot to do one thing. Need to change the date on my live stream. <laughs> my OCD is kicking in. Well, they made it down that mountain pretty well. I'm happy about that. Let me check how farming is done in Kenshi. Farming, crops, Kenshi. Oh yeah, they do. Uh, the river rafters will eat eat the crops. I see. All right, so I just should so it was a good idea to build the the fence around the crops. All right, <laughs> good thing I thought of that. Saved me a lot of trouble. Let me speed this up. It's taking them too long to get there. We're already on day sixty-two in Kenshi. Okay, we're running through the cannibal plains right now. They aren't that far away, so that's a good thing. The other guys are starting to catch up. That's another good thing.
always feel better whenever I take my ADHD medication. Can you build boats and go in the ocean in Kenshi? Um, actually you can't. I mean, like, even if you were able to, there's nothing really out in the ocean. I mean, like, this whole, like, continent that we're all running across is basically the world of Kenshi. It doesn't really go beyond anything. They are coming out with a Kenshi too, which is supposed to have more stuff in it. those dinosaurs are there <laughs> all right we have the wall built just need to finish the gate okay so Joe I mean Jenkins Russo and Alberto are they all here is that all of them? Yeah, I think that's all of them. Alright, the ones from the farmhouse who came. So let me have them finish building this. Oh, Max came with forgot about him. Alright, they got it. So now let me see what else they can add. The stupid river rafters are everywhere. Shit, they're getting in? What the hell? Get out of here! Alright, they're going away. Alright, so I think that's all we needed them for, really. I mean, let's check the fourth male squad. Let me select all of them. And we also need to add, uh, wait a second, all right, power, farming, what is it, farming, well, five building materials for the well. We're going to be growing, like, lots of green fruit, fruit so... All right, the vegetable farm is finished. Let me see if they can finish building the well so they can use the vegetable farm. They also need a storage place to keep the vegetables. All right, and that's finished. Now let me see storage all right um storage green fruit they only need like one building material for each i'm going to try building two of them here all right alberto is building that one <laughs> glad he didn't run out
Okay, so now for the fourth male squad, I'm going to give them, assign one of them the jobs of uh, taking care of the plants. Okay, so, um, Jenkins, Levitt, Russo. Let's see if any of them have any more cotton, because they need to add, like, a lot of cotton to the cotton farm part. I think they do, actually. Oh, wait, they don't? Oh, wait, yeah, they do. They're trying to build a large cotton farm, though, so... That's all they had? What about the fourth male squad? Oops. Okay, so it's this to select all of them. None of them have cotton at all. Alright, so these guys are all done. Let me just send them... Send them back to the... Send them back where? Oh yeah, to their forest house. Okay, so they're on their way back. He's taking care of the farm. The rest of these guys don't really need to be standing here. Oh yeah, Neil's with them. So let me have Valentino close this gate. Just so the raptors don't get in. Actually, let me have him. Um I'm gonna have him go with Joe because I need to send Joe back to uh back to the beach area. So let's have Valentino follow Joe. Shouldn't I send someone else with them? I mean, just so they can carry lots of stuff. Alright, he's busy. Isaac isn't doing anything. Does Isaac have anything on him? Yeah, just one fabric, but... Let's have Isaac follow Joe. And let's send Joe to the northern beach. Well, back to their other, their first settlement at the Northern Beach. I have them running all over, jeesh. So that's going well. 
see if Russo made it back to the second settlement yet. Well, he's on his way. The rest of them are all still stranded. Well, they're behind, but yeah. <laughs> Gosh, they're a long way. Why does it say that he's an engineer? Let me, like, exit that out. Let me see if I could speed this up so they get back there faster. Alright, they're moving along fine. They're basically heading in the same direction. I just hope that he doesn't... Well, he's going... He's getting there. Why did he stop? Oh, he's going. <laughs> Believe me, Joe, going to let him play the other game. What? Aw, thanks, Jack Captain IGC. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Um, no, it's something you put on a sandwich. It's a condiment. I believe that's what they call it. I don't know. But it's not an instrument. I know that. <laughs> Alright, let's see how far Joe made it. Right now, Joe is supposed to be going here. Where is he right now? Oh, he's running through the cannibal forest. Okay, so Joe's almost there at the Northern Beach Settlement. Alright, looks like those guys are stranded. The other ones are. Oh, they're all making it back. That's good. Why did he stop? What the hell? 
That's not where Joe was supposed to go. He's supposed to go here. Alright, he made it back to his northern beach settlement. Okay, so what did I plan on doing here? I'll show you guys. Um, I need to find... I need to pull out the eight books that we collected earlier. Not sure which storage bin we put all those in, but I'll see. It was either this one or that one. Oh yeah. Not sure if we need seven or eight of them. Okay, so we got those. And now we just need to go up to this. Because we're going to have to build another one of these machines. But we need to like... Like in order to build more stuff. So, inventory, let me show research. How many of the books do we need? So, outpost type 3, tech lab 5. We need 8 science books. Alright, we only have 7, so... We need one more, damn it. I'll come back when I find another one. Meanwhile, let me send send Joe to the northern village. Alright, is there a town? I wrote down the names of all the towns that sell the ancient science book. World's Ends, Flat Lagoons, Ancient Labs, Lost Library, and other Tech Hunter cities like Morn and Black Scratch. Did we already go to Morn? Let me see. Morn, Kenshi, Bonefields, and Flat Lagoon. Let me see. Uh, oh no, we didn't go to that one. It's in the Bonefields. Where is the Bonefields? The Hook, South Wetlands. Alright, if we have enough time to run out there. We we're supposed to be heading out to the desert, jeesh. <laughs> well, meanwhile, I just wanted to stop off here just to get some stuff. All right, let's trade. And that seems to be enough of everything, but let me get a red bandana for Valentino. Let me see. I mean, it doesn't look like mine, but I <laughs> think it would look cool on him. So I guess I'm going to send them straight to, uh, what is it, the Bonefields, South Wetlands. <laughs> Surprised we didn't stop there earlier, gosh. Well, you know what? Since we're on our way to the desert, I might as well send them to the desert to build settlement out there. So, I'm going to send them there. To the desert. Then, uh, how far away is that from the bone fields? South Wetlands, Crater, the Shawn, the Arch, Spider Plains. Where the fuck are the bone fields? Oh, they're all the way down there? Well, it's on the western side of the map, so, yeah.
looks like Marvel's guarding the wall. Armstrong has like a whole bunch of building materials. There's a lot he could do with those. But do any of them have electrical components? Okay, so they, they all made it back. Let me see. Did, I should have sworn that I had one of them buy like electrical components. It's either Max Russo or Alberto who has them, or it's probably Jenkins. Yeah, it's Jenkins who has the electrical components. Not sure if they restocked yet, but I'm going to have Russo go out there and deliver them because we need to build like a whole bunch of lights at that one camp that we have. So let's send Russo to World's End with everyone else following him. He'll be able to make it up there. <laughs> so much stuff going on in this game. Alright, Valentino and Joe and Isaac are on their way to the desert. The rest of them are just standing around, not really doing anything. Let's see how uh, Mazik is doing. Oh, he's getting hungry. Let's have Chad bring him out some food. Oops. Well, let's have Johnny bring him some food. put it on pause and let's send Those damn monsters better not get in here. What's Ralph doing? Let's have Johnny kill the river rafters who all came here invading my camp. Or the, oh it's the gurus, that's what they all are. Oh shit, he only has the... I don't want him to waste all those. We need to bring him a different weapon. Let me check on my second male squad and where Russo is. Did he make it to the... Yeah, he made it up there. <laughs> they always do. They should be able to find, like... Because I plan on sending them to the Shrieking Forest once they get the enough electrical components. Luckily, the thing about the shops up here, what I notice is that they stay open all night, which is pretty awesome. Hey, welcome, buyer. Yeah. 
Thanks for the welcome. Okay, show me what you got. Still out of electrical components, damn it. Has cotton though. Well, anyhow, what I'm gonna do is, um. Oh, yeah, they must have not restocked yet. That's probably the reason why. Let me see if he has restocked. I think there's a mod in this game that I can get, so, like, the. I should consider getting that mod, because, like, they already. Let's trade. Twenty two iron plates, six wheat, random furniture. Damn it. Yeah, remind me to download that mod. I'll write it down. Okay, so download the mod so more stuff is sold in stores. Download mod so more stuff is sold in stores. Six slash twenty-five. Okay, I got it. Now, I'm gonna send Russo and all the others to the desert with Joe. I don't know where. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's them. They're moving to the desert. I'm gonna send Russo with them. Not sure how long I'm gonna keep them all out in the desert, but someone will have to stay there. Thanks, Eleni. I didn't really notice that um, anyone was mad. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, not trying to be rude or disrespectful to anyone. I mean, I'm glad you're all here, and I'm glad you're watching my live stream, and I love all of you, really. Not in a weird way, but you guys get what I mean. Hold on one second. One thing I need to check real quick. Oh, thanks, Laney. Alright, so right now I'm sending them to the desert. They're on their way there right now. Joe's already made it to the desert. Looks like he has. I don't want them to be too far away from the water. I want them to be close to the water. I might just merge all of them into one squad, that's what I think, all these guys who are traveling with each other. 
even though Joe didn't spend much time on the left area and coast, that's what I might actually end up doing. Let me speed this up some. Alright, looks like Joe's almost there. Okay, so they're all on their way to the desert right now. Joe's already in the desert. Haven't checked on him yet. Let me see. Oh, it's night right now. Damn. Okay, let me see what grows in the desert in Kenshi. Cactus will be the easiest thing to grow. They automatically eat from your... S All right, so cactus, that's what we need to grow out in the desert. Wow. It's pretty here, but yeah. Going to be sending them up here because I want them to be near the water. I guess. Well, I'm kind of kind of confused. Either by the water or definitely need to be near the town. I'm not even sure if we can farm with cactuses yet, because I'm not sure if I learned that. Have to see what wild animals lurk in the desert. Let me see how far they are from the water. Well, they're right near it, but I want to be close to a town, though. I think Russo's behind us. Well, he's a pretty... I'm not sure if he's even made it to the desert yet. I mean, he has a long way to go. Yeah, a really long way to go. Oh wait, no, he's entering the desert now. Alright, and there's the town that's next to the desert. Figured this would be a de decent place to set up a settlement. Let me prospect this area real quick. Water, 30. Fertility, 75. Oh, wow. Didn't think this area was fert. Yeah, and these damn... A bunch of damn flamingos are attacking us now. 
Alright, so... <laughs> Let me prospect this area. Water, 30. Fertility, 75. Okay. Well, the fertility is better than I thought it would be. But... Now, what kind of... What inventory do they have? Alright, well, we'll have to take them to buy some more. This town should have something for sale. Like, stuff for building, at least. Alright, and here's the building shop right here. Hopefully it's still open. Welcome customer. Yeah, thanks for the welcome. Alright, so what do you guys have? Um, let's do business. 30 building materials. Okay, those will all come, come in handy. We definitely need those. Okay, so Joe, Isaac, And what's his name? Valentino. Alright, I have to figure out what house we're going to build out in the desert. We could always come back here and get some more stuff to build it, but... Keep going that way. It, there appears to be, like, a lot of wild animals out in the desert, so that should hold us over for some time. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. <laughs> I wish I could have them live in a sandcastle. That'd be really awesome if they could. Felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can remember your name. Cause there ain't nobody to give you no pain. La, 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 la. La 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 After two days in the desert sun My skin began to turn red For three days in the desert fun I w Oh, Russo finally arrived? Awesome! I knew that he wasn't that far behind, but cool all right, so let's have Joe prospect this land. Oh, there's 30 water here. Lots of stone, lots of fertility, and lots of water. All right, 30 water. Okay, that's enough. All right, so they finally all caught up. So. Now I'm going to go into the squad manager, and then I'm going to start a new squad. Right. Add a squad. Joe Winko's fifth male squad. We have 61 members already, but now we have a fifth male squad. So Joe Winko's fifth... Uh, I'll just, just start using the number five male squad which includes Joe Isaac Valentino and who else is here Russo Alberto and Jenkins and Max they're all from the second squad so Russo, wait, isn't Alberto, 
Wasn't that the one at the Shrieking Forest? Oh no, he wasn't. Okay, so Jenkins. Max. And Alberto. Alright, is that all of them? Yep, that's seven men who I have in the desert. And my fifth male squad. Okay, so first things first, let's... Wait a second, let me select all of them. Yep, that's all of them. So let's start building. We need to build a... I want it, want it to be a little bit more of a ways away from the city though. Like how about right, right here would be fine. Where the desert meets the sea. Hopefully I don't regret building here later. <laughs> well, they don't really swim for fun, that's the thing. <laughs> but that would be a cool idea, honestly. Now, um, let me prospect this area. Let's have Joe prospect it and see how it is. Oh gosh, everything is zero over here. Alright, so definitely don't want anything there. I wonder why that that land is so barren. Let's run over here. Gosh, it's amazing how like a few feet away, like everything can be zero. But let me see here. Everything's still zero around here. Okay. I see how it is. What about here? Thank God I know about the prospecting feature. <laughs> Everything's still zero. What the hell? Okay. Guess I have to send them back up here. So I wanted the settlement to be far away from the, I mean a little bit, I wanted it not to be too close to where the town is, but let me see here. Prospecting, fertility 75, iron 94, water at 30, Fertility, 75. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, so first things first, we're going to build Station House, Step House, Storm House. Going to build a Watchtower. Just one Watchtower for now, that should be fine. We need 60 building materials for that. I know that they all don't have enough. Are there tornadoes and tsunamis in Kenshi? Uh, 
no, there's no tornadoes or tsunamis. There are, like, light beams that can burn you up, but they're not, like, really in this area, though. Alright, so I have to send them back into town to get more supplies. I have one of them stay behind and guard the place, though. But the other five... Are they all out of building materials? Oh wait, Joe has like a whole bunch. What the hell? So does Isaac. Let me see about Valentino. Yeah, Valentino has a whole bunch. So it's starting to... It's starting to build it up. Joe, are you going to stream Kenshi 2 when it comes out? Oh yeah, absolutely. I love the Kenshi games. I'm excited for Kenshi 2. They said that they're going to be building a bigger world than Kenshi 1. Yeah. Kenshi's been out for quite a while, since 2013. That's when I, uh... Oh, my blood sugar is low. 45, damn it. Alright, hold on one second. 30... Oh, shit. Okay, one second. So glucose. Alright, sorry I'm talking to myself. Just ignore what I'm saying right now. For right now, at least.
I'm sorry, Elaney. When my blood sugar is low, I mean, I have type 1 diabetes, so when my blood sugar is low, it means that I need food or glucose tablets. I mean, juice or glucose tablets to bring it up. That's how it is. So let's send the rest of them to back to the town over there because they still have more stuff for sale, more building materials that we need. Why isn't Russo going with them? Alright, Jenkins is going to be staying behind. Oh wait, Jenkins not supposed to follow Russo, he's supposed to be staying behind. So now they're finally there. Not sure if they have enough for 60. I mean, not sure if the store has enough building materials for us, but we'll see. Alright, let's do business. What the hell is the other guy doing? That's basically all of their, um, oh, they have electrical components too. Let me get some of those.
Okay, so... Why is Joe just standing there? Jenkins looks like he was injured badly. Who attacked us? Oh, a bunch of those people did. Damn. finished building the watchtower. We're almost done. Uh, no, Beto, um, I'm not 30. I'm 25. Gosh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, 30 isn't old, though. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm young. 25. I mean, well, 30's young, too. I mean, it's not old. I mean, if I was 30, I'd be calling it young. And I'm calling it young right now, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, we need to keep building this watchtower. What the hell does he mean he doesn't have building material? Oh, oh shit, I forgot to get Geo building materials. What about the rest of them? They should all have enough to help build it. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to do that. No, we do not want to dismantle it. We want to build it. hate when I accidentally do that. I think that's... Alright, I think they added everything. Well, they're building it right now, so... Not sure how close it is to being done, but it's getting closer. Well, damn. So, Joe Winko's Desert Outpost. So let's have Jenkins stay behind and guard the 
Well, Jenkins is injured. We need to help him. to run all the way across the map to uh, what's that called? Show Betty? It's some town in the desert. While well, Jenkins stays behind and guards it. Who are all these guys? What the hell are they doing? Alright, looks like Jenkins is going to have to take them all out. They shouldn't be coming up into our... Yeah, well Jenkins is able to take them. <laughs> Guys shouldn't be coming up into my house. Jeesh. Well, he took them all out. That's a good thing. Alright, let's see how much... Does... Don't... Damn, they don't have any... They only have two meat. Okay, whatever. Alarm raised. What the hell does it mean by alarm raised? Alright, they're still on their way to that town. Okay, so... Maybe it wasn't a good idea. Let me speed this up. Well, no one seems to be attacking Jenkins right now. So like, are the desert people like all against us? Hope not. Yeah, okay, we're at the town now. So, Alberto, Max, Russo, Valentino, and Jenkins. Well, Jenkins isn't with us, but yeah. <laughs> Can they get in? Oh, yeah, they all got in. Okay, let's see if anyone... See where the hardware shops are. That's where the slave shop is, but where... Do they have a hardware shop here?
Oh yeah, they do. Awesome. Hopefully they're not all hostile against us, but let me see. Yeah, they have tons of building materials. Those are all going to come in handy. Oh, they have a, more electrical components too. That's exactly what we needed. But we didn't need them here. We actually needed the electrical components for uh, the Shrieking Forest, which is all the way on the other side of the map. Probably wasn't a good idea attacking those people like that, seriously. There's a dust storm going on right now, jeez. Yeah, they're on their way back. That's a good thing about the desert. It doesn't really seem like it's that difficult for them to navigate through. I mean, there's no, like, huge hills or anything like that. All right, they're on their way back. All right, they all should have like enough building materials to finish the watchtower. Then we're going to need to build a corpse furnace to get rid of all the bodies. Wait a second, let me check what weapons they have though. Alright, they all have sharp weapons, so that's good enough. And going to build power corpse furnace. Need eight iron plates for that. Oh, it's Alberto who has all the iron plates. Just remembered that.
right, we finished it. And I'll have a... Uh... Are they all dead? I'll have Valentino be in charge of collecting all the corpses. And throwing them into the corpse, uh... In the corpse furnace. Let me get all of them out of the way. Another monster is get is attacking us. Alright, now there's something else that we need to build. We need to build a wind turbine. So power, wind generator, need eight iron plates for that. So I'll put that right there. Have Alberto come in with the iron plates. We also need raw iron, that's another thing. Does he have any iron? No, he doesn't. Alright, so let me send him to back to the desert town. Hopefully they have iron there, if their stores are still open, that is. I knew I should have picked some up earlier, though. Well, actually, I forgot to pick some up earlier, that's what it was. Oh, damn it, they're closed right now. Eh, well, well. So, meanwhile, I'm just gonna build storage, food storage. Is there any storage for food? Food. Oh, here it is. I thought we had like a more advanced one.
And also we need to build a campfire. Forty isn't forty isn't old. I mean, yeah, it's older, but it's not old. <laughs> all right, so I'll have Alberto come and give all the all the electric components to Jenkins if he can fit all of them. I hope he can. Let me see. Oh yeah, he can. And then I'm going to have Jenkins run across the map all the way to the Shrieking Forest to deliver those to them. Hopefully he makes it. It's not that far away though. Oh, the bodies are disappearing now. Good. Alright, good. They'll still have meat left. We're also going to be buying some more slaves, too, to get them to join us here. Oh, damn. He thought I was an escaped slave? What the hell? He hurt, he hurt Valentino bad. First aid Valentino. Yeah, um, I guess Valentino should put on a different pair of pants, really. That's probably why they thought he was a slave. Oh, and he gets a new pair of boots, too. Didn't notice that they didn't have any shoes. Let me see.
Let's see how far Jenkins made it. He's still in the desert? Oh, he's almost exiting, though. So, I'm going to build a couple of uh, prisoner cages up here. Well, actually, I'm going to build three of them. Need five iron plates for each one. Should have enough. It's 15 total. Now, which one of them? All right, it's Alberto that has the iron plates. Yeah, he definitely has enough. We don't have any electricity yet. Uh, no. I don't feel like ending the stream right now. The only reason why I did earlier, it, like, my last live stream was only an hour long, is because I just felt like ending it, but I don't feel like ending it right now. Okay, so I'm going to have Alberto, after he's done building that, going to have him run into town and pick up like a whole bunch of raw iron. <laughs> I've done live streams like much longer than three hours. And did we get any new recruits? Um, Not yet, but we're going to end up getting them soon. Going to have Alberto pick up a slave while he's over there. Because we're able to buy them and get them to join us. I think. Uh, I'll see. I know that they have slaves like out in the desert. So. Away Alberto goes. Out to show Batty. Jenkins, he should be out of the desert by now. Not sure where he... Oh, he's going through the... the bast right now. Let's see where he is. I've never been over to the bast. Oh, it looked pretty nice. Kinda. But he has to run, like, all the way across the country. Yeah, they don't really have, like, fast travel in this game like Oblivion do did, does. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Mulaney. Alright, it's 
day 64 right now. Yeah, the wooden backpacks are pretty awesome. I wish I would have thought of those earlier, since they're all just trying to get building materials. at least just 10 people per each squad. My first male squad has 17 people, so I might slim the numbers down on that one. Okay, so we're at the town. They should be open by now. It's 7 a.m. In the game time, that is. We just need to find the construction shop. Oh wait, yeah, it's on this side of town. <laughs> Bit out of the way from the main entrance. Well, not really. Oh wait, who did I have selected? Oh yeah, Alberto. I think someone once did told me that, that the wooden backpacks are the best ones to have because like, you can stack stuff with them. I think for now on I'm going to give all my new recruits wooden backpacks. Alright, let's trade. Yes, they have raw iron. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, so... Oh, they're all out of building materials. Weird. So I'm gonna send, uh, are any of them still following Russo? Gonna send Max out to hunt, oh, Max has too much stuff in his inventory. Russo has too much stuff in his inventory. Which one of them has a free inventory? Damn, well, okay. Gonna build a storage bin so we can so we have a place to keep the rest of our all of our building materials. So storage, weapon stand, metal, general storage chest. No, we don't want that metal chest. Oops. Yeah, this is what we want.
wait, how much does it how much is it to build a metal chest? Then check that. Oh, one iron plate, okay. Do any of them have iron plates? Yeah, Russo has them. Okay, we got that built. So, let me have him... Is that all they could keep in there? What the hell? I thought they had more space than that. Shit. What type of chest did they have back at the... Let me check. Back at the beach settlement, they had... general storage chest. That's what they had. Okay, that's the one that has more space. Alright. <laughs> My bad. So I have to build a general storage chest. Um, yeah, okay, we got it. <laughs> Let me put that on the third floor, actually. I don't want anyone coming in here stealing our stuff. Is Alberto back here yet? Oh, he's still on his way back. Damn. It's taking him longer than I thought it would take. Alright, we got the storage chest bit finished. So, inventory. Yes, and it lets us stack stuff. Awesome. Alright, let me have Joe check out these maps that we got. Old treasure map, one location added to the map. I think I got like a whole bunch of them to get maps. Might as well use those. Who was it who I had buy all the maps earlier? I think that was probably in the second squad. Oh, no one there has the maps. Alberto is finally back, so I'm going to have him finish building this wind turbine. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bone dog. Don't expect to find those out in the desert. 
Let's have Max kill it for food. <laughs> so let me pause. Attack unprovoked. Is it running away? Damn, it's running away. That's weird. Usually they do fight. They don't run away. Yeah, it's harder to take them out when they're... Oh, okay, I think we got it. All right, we got it. Oh, but we only have like, well, he doesn't have any space to hold, hold anything. Three dried meats. It's better than nothing. Okay, so, yeah, what's the longest you've ever streamed? The longest I have ever streamed was my New Year's live stream for 2019 when I was playing The Sims 2, but I plan on beating that record eventually. It's just that there's a limit on how much you can stream because, um, there's a limit on how much you can stream because, like, if you stream longer than 12 hours on YouTube, YouTube doesn't, like, archive it and save it. And that's why I try not to go over 12 hours because I like for all my live streams to be archived and saved. Damn it. What the hell is Alberto doing? Why isn't he building the... He's not doing it. Shit. And I don't not even sure how far Jenkins made it, if he made it to the Shrieking Forest yet, all the way on the opposite side of the map. Is he finished building it? Let me speed this up some. Alright, finally, he finished building the wind turbine. Okay, so we're gonna send Joe into town to buy slaves. <laughs> that sounds so messed up, but gosh. And let me see, has Jenkins made it across the blast? Oh yeah, he has. Oh, he's now like crossing by World's End. So he's like still a long ways. He has to go through the Floodlands and the Hidden Forest next. Let me speed this up some.
Jenkins. Get to the Shrieking Forest already. He'll be fine there by himself. <laughs> Alright, did they make it there yet? To show Bati? I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, but that was the longest I've ever streamed. You guys have any more questions for me? <laughs> Sorry if I don't pay much attention to the chat. Eventually I do get back to it. It's just that I get so absorbed with playing this. This game is like so much fun, honestly. Alright, they made it here. Let me see what they can get. There should be like a place where they can buy slaves from. I recognize the symbol. I mean, the the store that sells slaves. I'll just show it to you when I find it. It should have cages on top of it, but if they have them, what the hell? Oh, I'm not sure if they have, if they sell them here, actually. I should have sworn I did see a, oh yeah, right here. Okay, this is where they sell slaves. Look at that sign that they have. A smiley face with a shackled neck. That's messed up, honestly. But once they join my squad, I mean, I'm going to have them. They're, they'll be free once they join my squad. And they have a couple. It seems like they have a couple for sale. So, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm a slave freer. Or what did they call it? A, I don't know. They probably have some turn for that. A slave helper or a slave freer. Like the Underground Railroad or something. Alright, I'm looking to buy some slaves. Okay, so... Gecko and Zim. Alright, I'll take both of them. Now, I'll have Isaac take the other. Where's the other one? Oh, he's up there. And basically what we have to do is lock them in cages and have them join us. Then we'll have a total of, well, we have seven so far, nine members on our team. All right, so it's back to my desert outpost. I've been through the desert on a horse of no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can remember your name. Cause there ain't nobody to give you no pain. La 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 la. After two days in the desert sun, 
My skin began to turn red After three days in the desert fun I was looking at a river bed And the story it told of a river that flowed Made me sad to think it was dead I've been through the desert on a horse of no name It felt good to be out of the rain I've been through the desert carrying a slave with a name It felt good to be out of the rain In the desert you can purchase slaves And try to convince them to join your reign La 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 I'm being weird right now. You guys will have to excuse me. Alright, so we got two new slaves to join us, which is pretty awesome. Um, I mean, they haven't joined us yet. We need to lock them in a cage and then give them some food, and then I'll be able to control them, and then I'll have to level them up. Right now, they're running back to their settlement, like, by the coastal part of the beach. And they're getting hungry. Now, how far has Jenkins made it? I mean, I know that he's already made it across the... the hidden forest, so he should be... He still hasn't made it? Damn it, Jenkins. Supposed to be getting to the Shrieking Forest, back to the outpost to deliver the whatever they're called, the battery components, so they can use lights at the outpost. Did you hear that they're making a Sims 5? Oh, really? I didn't know that they were. I like the old school Resident Evil games. I mean, I like old school games. I mean, they they bring back good memories. And Player John 101, this is a new game. It's from 2013. It's not an old game at all. All right, we're approaching our settlement right now. Got to select Joe. Pretty soon I'm going to have to send Joe like on a long journey to get another one of the uh ancient science books. What the hell is Joe doing? Why is he going back? Joe, get back to your outpost, seriously. Let me speed this up some. You guys are probably getting bored just watching me run through the desert while my Kenshi self run through the desert. Alright, we're getting there right now. All right, we finally made it back. And now we're going to put them in the cages that we built. have them put in the cages so now I need Joe to go down and get some food for them so we need to give them food in or order to recruit them to join us so I can control them then <laughs> how ironic they won't they won't be slaves then but I'll be able to control them oh I 
I already have some food in my inventory. Awesome. Okay, so now I just have to go up and talk to them. Zem. That's the first one I'm talking to. Alright, well that didn't go well. Let me talk to the other one. Okay, Gecko, we got him to join us. Let me just put him upstairs. I want to keep the slaves safe. I mean, my new recruits safe before I level them up. Now, how do I get take off his, uh... Oh wait, maybe I could have him take it off himself. Hold on. Alright, well, he still has the shackles on, so... Not sure how to get him to remove those. I guess there's no way to remove those. Whatever. Oh, yeah, there's boots. Okay. That's how you remove them. So I'll have them hold and block, and then... Now what about Joe? I'll try talking to the sec to the first guy again. Zem, that's his name. All right, got him to join us. I thought he was bald at first, but whatever. We got two of Joe's new recruits. I want to take a picture of all of them together. I like that picture. So F12. Alright, so we got Zim to join us. Oh yeah, Joe needs to give him food.
Okay, so prospect water is thirty, fertility is seventy five. Okay, so farming a well. So we need five building materials to build the well. Right now we only, well, I have a whole bunch. Looks like there's a bunch of wild animals over there. Let me see if I could harvest all their meat. That sounds a little creepy, but yeah. That's what we have to do out here. We have to actually like go out and hunt. <laughs> Are those rafters? I'm committing a crime? What the hell? Alright, I think like from looting a dead rafter, I think that's where I goofed up. <laughs> well, we needed the meat to survive, so yeah. Hopefully they don't become hostile against us. Need to wait for the dried meat to finish cooking. another one of those creepy things. I mean, I think that might be one that we already killed. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Not sure if we looted the meat from it yet, though. What the hell? Why isn't it letting me go up there? Well, 
that's stupid. Whatever. Let me see if Jenkins made it to the Shrieking Forest yet. Oh yeah, he's almost there. Awesome. Okay, that appears to be... Are there more of them? Damn, a lot of blood being shed in this forest. Oh, thanks, Captain IGC. Okay, so... Where the... Okay, there it is. So Joe's going back to the, whatever you call it, back to the settlement I should say. He has like a whole bunch of uh, raw meat that he's going to cook up. We're on day 64 right now, and I don't know what... Okay, so meanwhile, let me check on Jenkins. Alright, he has made it back to... He's made it to the Shrieking Forest, which is awesome. His chest is injured. Now, where's the entrance? Oh, there it is. So basically, all he needed to do here was uh, trade with Marvel. Oh damn, Marvel barely has anything except building materials. Okay, so let me have Marvel go in. I have an idea.
it's on the third floor. Okay, so Jenkins is recovering. Storage. Is it a general storage chest? I think that's what it is. Or is it fabric chest, flower chest, general storage chest? Okay, yeah, that's it. He finished building it. Awesome. And it's finally nightfall. Also awesome because we need to we need to figure out exactly Well first I need to lock these gates at the Shrieking Forest. And we need to figure out exactly where I need to put the torch lights also. Bye, Pete OG. Alright, so I'm just going to close the door. I mean, close the gate. all the electrical components here. have Mosey step out of here. And Jenkins is going to recruit one of these guys. And that guy is still unconscious. What about this guy? Oh, he's crippled. join me, but we'll need to do something about that face first. Alright, what do you think I should name this guy? Oh wait, I think I have an idea on what to name him. Gonna name him Reggie. Yeah, that'd be the perfect name for him. Oops.
so now we have to get him Oh wow. Okay, so we basically got that done. So now we can basically send Jenkins back to the desert, I guess. Well, we have to... We have to open the gate so he can leave. Alright, we got that. Now let's send him to back to the desert. Hopefully he makes it back. Meanwhile, let's see what Joe's up to. that guy dead yet? Yeah, he is. Oh, thanks, Captain IGC.
So now I have to send Joe all the way down to the bone fields. Hopefully he's able to make it on his own. Well, he will be. I'm sending him there by himself. Oh, discovered port south. Okay. Lots of loading screens. <laughs> While Joe's running all over the map. Okay, so Joe is still running all over the map. South Stone Camp. Oh, looks like he's in the gut right now. I think, I don't know. Oh, he's in the eye. Okay.
shit. So Stam lights again. Okay, so Joe's on his way to Flats Lagoon. Discovered old control tower. What the hell? Crashed? Alright, looks like my game just crashed on me. Alright, so... <laughs> Damn it. That sucks so much. That hasn't happened in so long. Well, I mean, at least I have the auto-saves enabled. Let me try... Gosh. Alright, let me launch it again. <laughs> that sucks so much. I was not expecting that. Alright, hold on one second. Okay. Now we finally got it up. It's alright. Oh, you're going to Florida? Oh, that's awesome, Eleni. This is where the autosave was. Wait a second, so let me check. Where the hell is Joe right now? Gosh, now Joe has to start that whole trip all over again.
It's probably a bad idea setting up a base at the desert now that I think of it. Should put it like in a better area, really. Let me speed this up. I'm just going to save my game. Let me check what food grows in the desert, Kenchi. Different crops grow in different reasons. Why does it keep crashing on me? Shit! Again? Seriously? All right, I never had this game crash on me so much before, but let me tr try it again <laughs> from where I left off. Luckily, I saved it right before it did, but damn. Discover South Stone Camp. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that... I mean, like, I don't know why it keeps crashing on me. 
Trader's Edge. Let me just save my game. Alright, Suspicious Lab. Where's that? So those damn lights again. Hope Joe doesn't get caught in one. Otherwise I'm done for. Let me save again. Alright, save was successful. Awesome. Gosh. Alright, so for the person who asked, do they have tornadoes in this game? They don't have tornadoes, but they have something like that. Gosh. If you run into that thing, it burns you up. That's a long way here. Damn it. <laughs> Shit, forgot to put the pants in the... Well, whatever. Finally made it to Flats Lagoon. Let me just save while I'm here, just in case the game crashes on me again. Oh, wow. So 
I'm not sure why they have the town built on like stilts like that, but yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so while I'm here, I might as well go back to the construction shop. Don't be surprised if they're out of the ancient science books, but it's worth a shot though at least. Map of the swamps, map of the United Cities. Um, all right, so nothing there, but not what we're looking for, at least. But let me check here. Actually, you know, while we're here, I'm going to have... Gonna get a couple of backpacks. I'll f find someone to give those to. I'll give those to our new recruits that we had who just joined us. And also, let me check the... There's nothing here. I mean, nothing else here. So I'm going to have Joe leave and keep heading south because I think the town that I was going to send him to, gosh, I even forgot the town that I was going to send him to. Oh, yeah, the bone fields. That's where I was going to send him. Let me save while I'm here just in case. Hi, Captain IGC. What the hell are those? Ooh, damn. Hold on, one sec. Wonder how much meat those have. It's a boneyard wolf. <laughs> oh wait, no. Yeah, a lot of food that we could use up in the desert. Okay, so I think the next town I was going to send him to was Morn. Which he's not that far from. What the fuck are those things? Jeesh.
not sure how long I've been streaming right now, but let me see. Holy crap, four hours. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so finally made it to Morn. Oh, where the fuck is it, though? I don't see it. it ju I just saw the text that popped up and said that I discovered Morn. Okay, I see it now. Jenkins didn't even make it to the desert outpost yet. Oh, okay, wait a sec. Now... Alright, there's the town of Morn. Alright, that's where I want him to go. Let me see if he makes it there. Oh yeah, okay, he's made it. Okay, so got to find the tech shop now. I mean the construction shop now. Where the hell is everyone? There's hardly like anyone here. Damn it, that's Damn it, still haven't found it. Everything looks like it's been torn down or something like that. I can't find... Oh wait, do they sell slaves here too? I'll try checking here to see if they have uh, the ancient science books for sale here. Oh, another guy named Ice. Oh, 
Okay, how can I help? Show me what you got. Alright, he has a lot of backpacks, but... find that here. Where the... So I made it to Morn, but... Buildings and shops, Tech Hunter shop... Alright, isn't that the one that I just went in? I mean, I went all the way down here to find, like, the ancient sci science books, but I can't find one. Um, I think that's a new person we can recruit. Let me see. Damn it. Whatever. Oh, that's Plastic Surgeon. Don't need to talk to them. Looking for outlines and Outlander. Sure, I'm interested. Okay, so got another Sheik to join us. His name's Fall. Can I pick him up? Gonna be taking him to the desert. All right, let's do business and damn it, still no, still no books there. None of the ancient science books.
like, gonna give one of my large science, uh, backpacks to him. Alright, so, let's carry fall. We need to find a construction shop. If they have one out here, they should. spending way too much time here. I seriously cannot find that. Let me see. Ancient science books. Morn Kenshi. Damn it, can not find those here. Shit, that sucks. Lucky we didn't.
Bats, Lagoon, Swamp, Gred. see where Jenkins went. I mean, he might know where some of them, I mean, he might be where this map is huge. Hard to find them. I remember he was on his way back to Okay, all ancient science books, locations, Kenshi, I mean there should be like a list of all where to find all of them. thought Morin would have them. Alright, there's a tutorial on YouTube on where to find them. I'll try checking that. Alright, that's World's End. Shit. Okay. Is that in World's End? Black Desert City, we can't find them there. If we go there, we, we might die. Alright, the ancient lab, we already tried that place. Damn it, I seriously thought they would have them here. Eh, well, it's alright. I mean, they don't have them in Morn, so. Eh. 
and black scratch. Well, whatever. So I guess I just have to send... I'll just send Joe back to... back to the desert outpost. So he just traveled that far long journey just for nothing. Well, at least he got like a new recruit. Let's just see if Jenkins made it back yet. He should have. Yeah, he has. I guess, kinda. So there's the outposts we have, like, um, up in the desert. This is where I'm waiting for Joe to get back here. Joe and Fall to get back here. It's, damn, it's a dust storm right now. So I'm going to have uh, Jenkins put Reggie down. This is where I wanted to leave him, up here. Now, do any of them have like fabrics for building beds? Doesn't look like any of them do. See how far Joe is from here now.
Taxman visit? What the hell? Let's see where Joe is. Oh, he's over there. Okay, I'm not sure why I didn't, that didn't show up on the map, but yeah. So, who's there right now? There's one person on the way. Who the fuck is this? Talk to... Time to pay up this wheats. You set up shop on Emperor land, you pay Emperors at taxes. I don't pay taxes, I'm exempt. <laughs> Who said you exempt? Alright, let me see if there's a way to get out of this. Paying taxes, can she exempt exemptions? Oh, yeah, okay. Long Tengu sent some. Too bad, but I'm not paying. I'll be back, I promise you that. Uh, well, this is a lame place to build a settlement anyway. So, you know what? Let's just have us... Well, you know what? I mean, he said he'll be back, but don't want to waste the food, though. That's the thing. Especially since we brought, brought an injured guy all the way here. the hell 
hell is Joe going to be back here? Yeah, it was probably a bad idea. It was a bad idea setting up in the desert, especially since the... Should have knew that, really. Damn, he's still not back yet? How slow is he? Jeesh. I mean, we don't get taxes anywhere else. Let's have them tear it down. We'll tear everything down. <laughs> yeah, so much for our de desert settlement. Who the fuck would, would want to live in the desert anyway? Not even I would. You can't pick that up. What the hell? Let's have Alberto pick it up. Didn't know there were taxes for living here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's night already? Jeesh. Well, I'll send them, after we're done tearing everything down, I'll send them all back to the, to the other forest. Oh, shit. Did not mean to build. We want to dismantle that. <laughs> Damn it, are those bandits? Oh wait, they're not doing anything to us, so that's a good thing. just picking up all the stuff because we're ta tearing down our base here.
All right, we got almost got everything torn down. So you guys never, well actually you guys kind of did see me do this. We're tearing down this camp right now because we don't want, we don't want to be in the desert anymore. So, we're taking all the food. We have enough, like, people to carry all this stuff, but, yeah. That's a good thing about having a huge, uh... Just gonna save though. Like, we never had to pay taxes on the northern beaches. But any place that where we have to pay taxes, we're going to be tearing it down. I mean, there's no need for that. Reggie is still injured. As much as he can carry, that's what I'm going to have him carry. Oh, we only have five building materials. Okay. 
in there. Okay, we got that handled. Alright, we almost got everything torn down. Just need to tear down this watchtower afterwards. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot, Reggie is still hurt, so one of them needs to carry him. So I'll have Jenkins carry, I mean, yeah, so Jenkins will carry Reggie away. And Jim, I'll have Valentino carry Jim. And Isaac carry Gecko. Yeah, we should have never set up camp here, really. <laughs> We're not going to build any more settlements after we destroy this one, because we already have enough, really, between the Shrieking Forest and uh, the farmhouse and northern settlement so have to dismantle the other fur the furniture first oh yeah oh okay so let's destroy the metal chest Dismantle, and then just have all of them dismantle the watchtower. And Joe is still on his way back. Let me just save. I hope Joe is on his way back. <laughs> oh yeah, Joe's already going through the desert right now.
Okay, it looks like they tore down the tower. Let me check on them. Oh wow, they have tons of building materials. So we're going to pick all of these up. Because we can definitely use them for something else. Oh, he can't pick that up. Alright, let's have Valentino pick up the rest. He can't pick it up either. Alright, let's have Reggie. Jenkins pick up the rest. They should have enough to carry all those. Oh damn it, he can't either. Alright, what about Max? Okay, so let me send Max to the... to the town north of here. Actually, between all of them, we should be able to pick them up now. So, let's have Joe pick up the rest. I mean, if he has room. Yeah, he has room. We're not going to build, like, any more settlements for now on. But we are going to take the rest of these building materials that we to tore down. Oh, he can't pick it up. All right. Let's have Fall pick up the rest of them. Just gonna save my game. Damn it, he's out of space now? Oh, how much how much space does Reggie have? Alright, Reggie can't pick any of those up. Alright, let me see.
got so much stuff that we need all of them to pick up. This is getting a bit complicated. <laughs> Let me save my game real quick while we're all out here. Because I don't want to leave behind all these building materials. Okay, that's everything here, but then we need the rest of this stuff. So we have Russo and Alberto, so let's have the rest of them. Let me just select them. of them. And then let's select Joe. And let's have Joe run to the I'll have Max stay behind with all the other stuff along with uh Along with Russo and Alberto. Hopefully they sell those backpacks that we needed. Let me see. Yeah, because we're carrying like tons of stuff right now. Well, I'll 
go back to the Shrieking Forest. That's where I'll send them all back to. I need to get them wooden backpacks first. Sorry I'm not paying that much attention to the chat, but there's just some stuff I gotta take care of. Oh shit, wrong, wrong store, okay. It's actually... Damn it, not here either. We only need like just a place to buy a wooden backpack. Maybe th perhaps this place will sell them. Alright, let's trade. Damn it, no wooden backpacks for sale. Shit. Huh. Where would we get one? Maybe this place will have them. Damn it, what the hell? Show me your goods. Damn it, still doesn't have one. Okay, we'll try this place. He doesn't have a wooden backpack either. Damn it. Okay, show me your supplies. Alright, 
let's buy one of the animals from him. Talk to... Show me your animals. couple of them. Okay, so... Oh, we can control them. That's awesome. Right, talk to. Show me your supplies. Alright, that seems... Okay, they should have enough to carry all of that stuff. With all those animals that we just got. <laughs> Hopefully they can run fast enough. Can they? They should be able to. Alright guys, sorry I wasn't paying attention to the chat, just had to figure out some complicated stuff. I think my blood sugar might be low. God, forgot how slow those things were. see how this works. Never tried owning animals before in this game, but... Oh yeah, that's how. Oh yeah, they can carry all of our stuff for us. I might have to level them up, though.
Oops. We did not want to give them that. Okay, so... This is a bit complicated, but I'm getting it. We almost got all the building materials picked up. Okay, well, I think we got everything. Problem is, these creatures are like really slow, so I'll have to level them all up, really. How slow are all of them? Let me see. try getting them out of the desert now since I have all of them following me Okay, so the people are much faster than the animals because the animals haven't leveled up yet. Damn it.
let me just save just in case this crashes on me. Yeah, I didn't know you could name the animals in Kenshi. <laughs> Let me look that up, how to change the names of animals in Kenshi. right now. Yeah, well this will take a lot longer than I thought. Just posing them for a selfie for my next live stream. I have no idea where our animals are right now. They're still like catching up, they're pretty far behind. Hope they don't die at all, because they're carrying all of our stuff. Eh, but oh well. Let me speed this up some. Shit! Oh man, they killed both of our... Alright, let me see. <laughs> I didn't know that they could... I didn't know they would attack a... our wild animals out of nowhere, but let me see if I could load it up and if they're still alive. I should have knew that was a bad idea.
the hell? Why isn't it loading up? I mean, it should take off directly from where I saved it. game is taking forever to oh okay it loaded and let me see are they all still alive yep they're all still alive so I'm actually just gonna exit right here so thank you guys so much for watching my live stream it was a lot of fun and the next one I'm gonna be getting them all out of the desert they just can't right now because the animals are too slow and I need to hack up the game files to level up the animals so they're stronger so, uh, yeah, that's basically it for this live stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's always a lot of fun playing Kenshi, and it's always a lot of fun having you guys watch. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry I wasn't really paying much attention to the chat. It's just that I get so into the game. And, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching me play Kenshi. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people.